If you want to learn programming, there are thousands of different websites, tutorials, trainings, ebooks, courses, and whatever existing where you can just start learning programming completely for free. Okay, and let's assume you've done all this stuff. You already know some of the basics, yeah? How to declare variables, how to do if else statements, for loops, and so on. But what now? How do you really learn to use this stuff? If you want to start a project or try to solve a real problem, where do you begin? So in this video, I'll share my favorite way of learning programming with you guys if you've gone through some of the basics. And trust me, it makes so much fun, it's really exciting and it's very cool. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so let me tell you a short story how I got into programming because I never really worked as a professional software developer, but I started my IT career as an IT support technician somewhere like 10 years ago. But programming was always something that I was really passionate about it. And I started to learn programming when I was 16, starting with some free PHP in my SQL tutorials and started to do some small projects myself, which I never really finished by the way. <laughs> but programming was always something that I was very interested in and recently I started to take a look at Python because Python is really an awesome programming language and I'm currently building my own Discord bot written in Python. By the way, if you want to follow the project, put your link to my GitHub profile, so check it out. And one thing I can really tell you from my experience is when you want to become better at programming, you need to code. There's no way to cut corners here, you just need to do it. And you need to enjoy it, at least most of the time. <laughs> And starting your own project is always a great idea to practice what you've learned in these free tutorials, but just starting your own project doesn't always necessarily teach you new programming techniques. In fact, most of these tasks are very repetitive and you just try to apply the same techniques that you already know to just make progress. So besides of learning the basics and working on your own projects, I want to show you something that I've just recently discovered. And since I started doing this, my programming skills have tremendously improved in just a few weeks compared to what I've learned all these years stumbling from one useless project to another. And what I've done is I recently started to do some code challenges. So code challenges are small tasks where you are asked to solve a problem by writing a small program. And for solving these challenges, you usually earn points and those challenges are getting more and more difficult. And I can tell you guys, to learn new programming techniques or start practicing to solve problems, code challenge websites are just awesome. Because they don't only help you effectively practice what you've learned in the tutorials, they also force you to become creative and think of new ways of problem solving and as a result, make you a so much better programmer. But it's not just great because it teaches you extremely well, it's also highly motivating. Something I personally have a lot of problems when I start working on my own projects. So when you ask people who know me very well, they will tell you that I can get quickly extremely excited about something. But on the other hand, I also lose interest in something pretty fast. And their code challenge websites are just awesome because these challenges usually don't take too long but they are also fun and exciting to do and they always keep you motivated because you have the feeling of constantly making progress. And over the past month, I've tested out two of these free code challenge websites. The first one is Code Wars and the second one is Hacker Rank. And I just want to show you how they work and why this is such an amazing way of learning programming. So let's take a look and let's have some fun coding. So this is a first code challenge website, which is called Code Wars. And this is really cool. It is a community driven code challenge website where you can just achieve mastery through challenge. So this sounds pretty cool. And you can train many different programming languages. So whatever you prefer, whatever you want to start with, you can train. Yeah, you can see there are C, C++, C Sharp, Go, Kotlin, Haskell, Ruby. Python even shell and SQL challenges. So this is really, really nice. It has a variety of different programming languages you definitely should try and check out. You can sharpen your skills by challenging those cutters. So they have these ranking or challenge system that is somehow inspired by martial arts terminology. So these challenges are called cutters and you can train these different challenges. And once you start solving them, you earn ranks and honor, which is really cool. And those cutters start to become more and more difficult as long as you rank up. 
So you can also gain collaborative wisdom, which is really cool because they have a forum where you can discuss solutions or where you can ask people for help or for a small hint if you cannot really solve a challenge. And this is really nice because you can also see the different solutions from other people and can also start learning from other solutions as well and improve your programming technique. So for example, if you have solved a challenge, you can see, hmm, maybe there is an easier or more effective solution for this problem. You can also create your own katas and part participate and contribute to this awesome community project. So this is really, really nice. If you're a master programmer, you definitely want to create your own cutters for the community. This is really cool. So if you want to sign up, you need to solve a small programming challenge. So first pick up your language. For example, mine is Python and we need to solve this challenge. So I don't want to reveal this solution here because I don't want to spoil the fun for you guys. But trust me, it's not very difficult. You definitely can solve this. And if you can't, you probably should take a look at some free Python tutorials or whatever to start learning programming. So let's log in because I already signed up with my GitHub profile. And by the way, if you also want to join our alliance, we can share our skills as a community and you can see who has the most honor. So if you want to contribute to my alliance, you, you will find a sign up link in the description below. If you use that link to sign up on Code Wars, we are automatically connected to each other. So that's really cool. Try it out. So you can see here, we can pick our next challenges based on a programming language. So you can also switch that later. And then you can choose your focus for today. So for example, example, learn the fundamentals, rank up if you want to challenge yourself with uh, more difficult challenges or you want to practice and repeat what you've already solved. So you can see I'm not a high rank myself because I'm still learning and I wouldn't consider myself a professional software developer, but it really makes a lot of fun and I've prepared a very small and easy challenge so you can get a feeling of how this stuff really works. And here's a very simple challenge that I've just recently found where you can train some capitalizing of words. So every challenge usually starts with an instruction where it's explained what we actually need to do and solve in this challenge. So Jaden Smith, the son of Will Smith, is a star of films such as The Karate Kid and After Earth. I never watched, by the way, but Jaden is also known for some of his philosophy that he delivers via Twitter. When writing on Twitter, he's known for almost always capitalizing every word. For simplicity, you will have to capitalize each word. Check out how constructions are expected to be in the examples below. So when you look at his Twitter profile, you can see that's definitely the case. He tries to capitalize every single word for whatever reason. But anyway, we need to write a program that helps Jaden Smith capitalizing his Twitter post. So here is a quick example. All these strings are actual quotes from Jaden Smith, but they are not capitalized in the same way he originally typed them. So how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Yeah, okay. And here is how it should look like. So my first assumption would be that we need to actually split every single word and then we need to write a function that capitalizes each of them and returns them back in one sentence. So we can directly start typing our code into this solution here and we can always test an attempt for a solution and can measure if our program is working. We can always skip the challenge if for whatever reason we don't like it. We can view the solutions by others. If you do that, you won't earn points for that. But if you can't get through a challenge, you can also see how it would be done. So let's start writing a solution to this cutter. I'm using Python because this is the only programming language I know a little bit and I'm kind of mediocre at. So let's start doing this. And we have an input string that usually will contain the sentence where we need to capitalize the words. So let's first start by splitting these words. And in Python there's a very simple solution how you can do that. So first let's start with a for loop and start for every word in and now we need to use the split function for our string we now can pass a delimiter like a space for example but but once the space is a default delimiter in python we can actually leave this out so inside the for loop we could use something like the upper function which capitalizes a character or a whole word but in python there's also a function existing that capitalizes a single word so let's use this for simplicity so let's just use the function capitalize for every single word and now we need to somehow store this in a list because once the for loop is finished we want to return the full sentence okay so let's create a new empty list variable that's for example called words and that will be an empty list and now we want to append words.append our capitalized word to this list and once we are finished with the for loop we now need to create a sentence out of all these listed words so what we will do is we want to use the join function on a space delimiter and now we want to join all the list elements that we have stored 
in words. So this should create a sentence. And of course, we also need to return this from the function to the output. So what we need to do is we need to add the return word. So let's try to test if our solution is working. And what we can do is we can click on tests. And once your tests are successful and you think this is the right solution, I want to submit this and earn the points, you should click on attempt. So now it's doing some testing on edge cases if you'd really considered all the different exceptions that could happen. But we've passed all the tests, so that's fine. And yeah, this is a very simple challenge. We can actually submit our solution. And now you shouldn't just continue to the next challenge and flex, hey, I've solved the challenge. You should always take a look at other people's solution because this is very interesting and you can learn a lot from other people's submissions and thoughts as well. So for example, let's go through some of them because this is really interesting. You can see this is basically the same solution that I just recently did but it's put into a one line solution in Python because you can also do it like this here and put this into one single line. There are also other ways of solving this. For example, this is very smart because when you import the string library, there's already a function existing that is called cap words where you can capitalize every single word of a full sentence. So we don't need to iterate through every single word and split them. We could basically just use the function that's already existing in the Python string library. So that's really smart. Here's also another interesting way of solving this. For example, this guy has just used the cap words function and just renamed the test sample function to Jaden case, which is really cool. But you can also see other solutions like this one here, which is basically doing everything from scratch and using an upper function on the first character of each single word, which is also feasible, but it's probably a little bit more work. And yeah, you can see and vote for these solutions if you think this one here is the smartest solution. This is very clever. We can vote a clever for that, or we can vote for best practices there. But of course, I also want to show you the second page, which is called Hacker Rank. And this website has a completely different approach than Code Wars, although it is also a code challenge website. But this is more, I would say it's more business focused. So there are probably not so many challenges as on Code Wars because they are not really made by the community, but they are probably a little bit more focused on common tasks that you would usually see in technical interviews if you want to apply for a job as a software developer. You can see the whole purpose of this website is to match developers with great companies. And this could be a great way if you want to become a professional developer and you want to start learning programming and start showing your skills, building your personal profile, but also want to be directly connected or directly have some opportunities because there you can see companies are searching for developers they start remote hiring and if you can be on that platform and if you can rank some points and if you can build your personal portfolio well this this probably wouldn't hurt you right so let's start logging in and you can see I've not done so much with that. I just started to do some Python challenges and earned some points there. But uh, what you can see is it has a completely different approach there. You can get your skills certified, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I haven't really tried out this, but if you want to stand out from the crowd, you can view all the skills that you can train and earn certifications based on these programming languages. And there are also a lot of different programming languages here. There's also an interview preparation kit, which I think could be very, very useful because you can see what different companies are asking for in some of their technical interviews for programmers. For example, here the arrays. So 70% of companies are testing this subject. So if you know you have a technical interview, you should prepare something with arrays for that. Yeah, you can see the challenges there and start learning this stuff. So they are also ranked from easy to medium and hard. Some of the hard challenges are really, really hard. It's a little bit more, I would say, a professional or more mathematical way of explanation and description and learning. This is usually how you would see that in a technical interview, I would expect. What HackerRank also has are some compete contests where you can just participate in something. And there's also a job section, so where you can see companies are searching for a senior front end engineer. Maybe you want to apply for this job if you have five plus years of experience. I, I don't have it. <laughs> but anyway, we can click on that and just try to apply for some of these jobs. And maybe you'll find some interesting opportunities here as well. And if you have already built your personal profile and have earned some points and some ranks doing these code challenges, you have not just learn something but also build something like a reputation you can definitely use to apply for some of these jobs here which is pretty cool 
Okay guys, so I hope you're no excited as I am and you just want to start learning programming and start challenging yourself on some of these websites. Yeah, so just sign up on Code Wars and on HackerRank, of course. It is completely for free, so there's nothing that would hold you back on. There are no restrictions really. And if you want to sign up on Code Wars, then please don't forget to use our invite link in the description down below. Then you're automatically connected with our alliance. So for me personally, Code Wars is definitely my favorite because I really like the community aspect of all this stuff. I like how these challenges are written. Some of them are really fun and exciting. And on the other hand, I also I don't have any ambitions to become a professional software developer at some point. So, but I still want to continue using HackerRank and trying it out and see how that is working. And maybe it also helps you to get some opportunities. I definitely want to try and continue testing it out. So I hope you enjoyed this and you could learn something new. So please don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe if you want to watch more tutorials and content for IT professionals. So thanks everybody for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourself and I hope I see you soon. Bye bye.